Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with a, another video. Quick video here, giving you guys a heads up on the Steam Summer Sale. Yes, probably the most iconic and the biggest sale of the year, but it's on par with what the Winter Sale is, so we'll talk about that briefly. And a note on the top sellers on Steam for the week uh, ending on June the 19th. We'll talk that at the end of this video, particularly one uh, top-rated game. That probably not too big of a surprise, but just wanted to make note of it. All right, first up, Steam Summer Summer Sale will be kicking off on June 23rd. That is, I want to say, this coming Thursday. Yes, yes, this coming Thursday. Steam Summer Sale usually is every uh, every year. It's on a Thursday, but it will be ki kicking off Thursday, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, although that is the start time. You guys know how it usually is. Uh, Steam servers usually uh, take a while to load when, this, uh, when the sale starts, and uh, usually... You know, you can't readily get on until like 1.15, 1.30, but nonetheless, uh, it will be kicking off. I know these days Steam sales, and I've been saying this for a couple of years, that uh, they're probably not at the level they used to be, given the fact that there's just so many e-tailers, so much competition, especially if you watch my channel, like you guys know all the deals that are running year-round, that it kind of lessens the uh, the excitement level of uh, what the summer sale is, comparatively speaking, to like a decade ago. I want to say like... My first summer sale, oh my god, I just ransacked Steam, uh, you know, picking up games like Skyrim, the Valve Pack, it was a good time, it was a good time, not a good time for my wallet at the time, but it was a good time, um, but yeah, these days, you know, there have been the summer and winter sales where I don't pick up anything, but I still like to look around, see what's up. And more than anything, and this is going to be the case every year, uh, these sales, I think, are really effective in looking at those games that just aren't sold on other e-tailers. Those are usually your lower-key titles, your smaller games that they just aren't put up on other e-tailers, uh, e those indie games, but... Uh, I always tell you guys, you know, take advantage of Steam's wishlist feature, and whenever you see a game that has, you know, you have some interest in, but maybe the price point is a little high, you know, add it to your wishlist, and uh, during a summer sale, during a winter sale, you know, pick it up then, um, but yeah, don't be pressured into picking anything up if you don't expect to play it anytime soon, and always, uh, my number one tip is unless you're gonna be playing a game in the relative near future, do not be paying a premium price point, and what I mean by that is, like, a $60 game, 50% off for 30 bucks. Like, let's say, uh, for example, like, Resident Evil Village is available for 25 or $30, but are you planning on playing that game within the next month or two if not it's probably gonna go on sale again and for and chances are it's gonna be even cheaper in the future so while the temptation may be there i would just say hold off and uh, wait on those cases but you know if you want to buy resident evil village and you're like hey i'm gonna download that game right now and i'm gonna play it i'm really excited to play resident evil village then yeah absolutely do that but um yeah i'll probably do a video on my tips to survive i do one um i, I want to say i did one last year but i'll do it again just you know sometimes my opinions on things change and uh it's a good refresher for those of you that you know just stumbled across my channel recently but nonetheless it'll be a good time and if you're the kind of person that always just buys your games on steam it's a very good time for you i know a lot of people only buy their games on steam so they can utilize features like steam refund and whatever the case may be or they just feel more comfortable buying their games on Steam. They have Steam Wallet credit. Again, whatever the deal is, it will be a good time and uh, a lot of deals will be had. Remember, as is the case uh, with every year since a while ago, uh, all the deals are just live right out the gate. Um, back in the day, you had things like daily deals and flash sales that definitely made the sale more fun. But at the end of the day, it probably wasn't the most effective thing to do. They want to make the most money they can, and having all the deals up uh, for the entire duration is probably the best way to go, especially in the Flash deal and Daily Deal era. You had people buying games and then them being a Daily Deal or a Flash deal and having an even deeper discount, and uh, yeah, that was a little bit of a nuisance. So it just, you know, eases up everything, and I think that is the most effective way to do it. Is it the most fun? Not, not, not in my opinion, but who cares about my opinion? Moving on from that, I do want to take a look at the Steam top sellers for the week ending on June 19th, as noted on SteamDB. Number one was Steam Deck, but number two... 
was Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade. Uh, so yeah, that ranked above Chivalry 2, Monster Hunter Rise, TMNT, Shredder's Revenge, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, Elden Ring V Rising, The Quarry, and Starship Troopers Terran Command. Uh, FF7 Remake Intergrade, I mean, Square Enix gonna be printing money with that game for the foreseeable future. Uh, you know, $49 is a steep price point, but given what you're getting, a relatively lengthy JRPG, and you're getting the intermission expansion um it's not a horrible deal but the game for uh, gmg xp subscribers or members excuse me uh as i mentioned in an earlier video today you can get it for 39 and change and that i think is a really great deal like if that if this game launched on steam at 39 and change i actually think people would have been really happy with it and um you know would have been a little bit more passing on the price point However, at $49, it's still the top seller as far as games go on Steam, so Square Enix probably made the right move as far as making money goes. It's just nice to see the game on Steam, and at some point, it will see a steeper discount. So, uh, yeah, but now it's just interesting because it is a game that its MSRP is $70, so even when it's 50% off, it'll be a $35 game. So, uh, you know, there's going to be more and more of that being the case with, you know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Another game that's going to be $70, and we'll see what the deal is with Last of Us Part 1. Uh, that game is $70 on PS5. Will that be the case on PC? I would, I would probably say so. But we'll see how everything plays out. But that's going to do it for me again. Steam Summer Sale kicking off this Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. You'll probably get on around 1.30 Eastern, 10.30 Pacific. But nonetheless, that will be kicking off tons of great deals to be had there. And FF7 Remake, top-selling game uh, for the uh, week of June 19th. So interesting uh how well that game is doing i mean it didn't have much competition in the in the sense of new releases so i shouldn't be that surprised but um yeah that game is seemingly doing pretty darn well given it's a port of a pc port uh i guess i don't even know how you would say it it's a store listing it's a game arriving on a new store that was a port of a game that was a year and a half old I think I said that right. You guys get the idea, but nonetheless, that's going to do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.